Hi. If there was such a thing as a narrow passageway that one had to pass through to become a podcaster, I would say that it would be dangerous to stand in front of it because the stampede of legacy media journalists now starting podcasts is pretty impressive. Chris Cuomo and Tucker Carlson got a head start on them. NBC fired Chris Cuomo as Fox News fired Tucker Carlson. So they have started their podcast up a little, a little while ago. They've already got them up and running. And I saw a clip just last week of Tucker Carlson talking about when he was in Moscow to interview Vladimir Putin. And Tucker was talking about the architecture of Russia and how it had an uplifting spirit. You show up in, in Moscow, you say, this is the best place I've ever been in my life. This city is better than anywhere in America. It is. The public spaces are beautiful. The architecture has not been degraded by postmodern, the oppression of postmodern architecture, which is designed to, to demoralize and hurt you and destroy your spirit. I believe that. Now, while the buildings of Red Square are beautiful, it's the country's capital and their their capital buildings are are gorgeous and I'm sure they are uplifting they, they probably have an uplifting spirit without a doubt they were also built in the 16th century by Tsar Ivan the Terrible after he conquered the Mongols so to reflect on that as some kind of association to Soviet Russia is just not true. And if you go a mile and a half, two miles away from the center of, of Moscow, you will there encounter the rest of urban Russia, which is filled with unadorned gray monoliths that contain tiny apartments crammed with large families where they have to huddle together to keep themselves from freezing to death during the harsh Russian winters. Now that brings me back to Tucker. I've never been a fan of Tucker. I haven't been a fan of Chris either. I consider them opposite bookends of, you know, the same mendacious media that's been lying to us for decades. So, yeah, there's that. That's part of the critique that I'm doing with my X platform and, and these, these videos these days. But Tucker's good. He's actually very impressive. And after seeing that clearly mendacious statement about, uh, about uplifting architecture in Russia, I said, I, I need to dig into this guy's background. And what I expected to find was a uh, guy who was well educated in, in a classical education, um, you know, studying uh, logic and oration and debating skills, that kind of thing. What I found was Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> it seems that, uh, that Tucker's father, uh, uh, Richard Carlson, was a gonzo journalist back in the day. Hunter S. Thompson pioneered gonzo journalism. That's a style that prioritizes first-person subjectivity over, over objectivity. In other words, the, the storyteller's beliefs and feelings overshadow objective reporting. Gonzo journalism's stream of consciousness thinking and writing are combined with exaggeration, hyperbole, and heavy use of personal experience, satire, and cultural com commentary. Now, with all that kind of chaotic cognition rolling around in Hunter S. Thompson's head, that might have been the reason why he pointed a pistol there one day and pulled the trigger, ending his own life. Uh, that's a guess, but uh, kind of makes sense. Yeah, Tucker Cotton Carlson is a gonzo journalist. I mean, it's, it's perfect. It really fits perfectly. The only difference, well, you know, the big difference between Tucker and 
Hunter S. Thompson is their audience. You know, Hunter S. Thompson was talking to disaffected progressives and, you know, Tucker's Carlson, uh, T Tucker, Tucker Carlson's uh, audience are, are uh, conservatives. You know, but it's, it's listening to that nearly 90 minute podcast was a good learning experience for me. One of the things I will say about Tucker, you know, the, the nice part of these lengthy podcasts, these Joe Rogan style podcasts, Joe Rogan's much better at it than these guys, but is that you get to know the subject. You get to, to know the person that the interviewer is talking to because it's a long conversation. So people kind of relax into whatever it is that they're doing and they reveal who they are. And one of the things Tucker revealed about himself is that his way of thinking, his view of the world matched perfectly with what I just described as gonzo journalism. He really fit together well. I had like an aha moment doing all of this because I, you know, Tucker's always intrigued me. Like I said, I haven't liked him. I, 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 I thought he was, uh, you know, I, I, I thought he was a bit of a shit stirrer, frankly, and, and he is. And, um, you know, but he was good at what he did, so I, I admired that. And also watching this 90 minute podcast, he, he's, he's, he's authentic. What you see is what you get with him. Chris Cuomo, on the other hand, is trying way too hard even to fit into this podcast thing. I, I had, I don't know, I, a little bit more sympathy for Chris. I'm not going to have a lot of sympathy for him. He's a wealthy man from a powerful family. His father was the governor of New York, ran for president at least once, I think more than once. Um, and his brother was the governor of New York. He was a highly paid top level media journalist for many, many years. This is not a man that needs my sympathy, but he struck me as a little bit lost. <laughs> and he even talked about that himself. He talked about his therapist and how after he got fired, he was so dejected and depressed that it took his wife to uh, motivate him to get going again. I mean, he said that, you know, okay, great. You know, but he, he, he's also, he was also wearing a short sleeve shirt that showed off his bulging biceps kind of in a Joe Rogan fashion. And I thought, this guy is still lacking a confident self-identity. That's just my take on it. Again, I, I, I'm no big fan of Tucker's, but I'll grant you that. What you see is what you get. I think he was authentic in his presentation of self. And I think he's highly, highly confident and who he is, and I guess a good, a, a, a good caveat here is, is to mention, Tucker is not the, you know, is not the druggle-addled lunatic that Hunter S. Thompson was. Hunter S. Thompson was proud about, he wrote frequently about his, his LSD trips and his frequent drug use and, and this stream of consciousness kind of drug-addled thinking. Probably cost him his life. It, you know, there was absolutely zero uh, evidence that Tucker Carlson engages in, any, in anything like that. He's an intelligent guy for sure. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I discovered Tucker Carlson's secret. He's a gonzo journalist. <laughs> Thanks for watching.